Hello, welcome to the sale of this caravan, uh, the Compass Omega 4 berth, built in 1990. Um, caravan's got a new jockey wheel on it. Uh, also, it's coming with a hitch lock cover. It's had, a, it's had a new plug on the end of this wire for the charging system, for the plugging into the car to charge the leisure batch up, etc. Um, there'll also be a gas bottle, regulator, um, caravan leg winder, hook up lead, all under this cover. Lift it up and show you. So we're just coming with a spare wheel, gas bottle and regulator, uh, caravan leg winder, outside TV aerial. Um, Car, car mirrors, extending car mirrors, set of, hook up lead, uh, reasonably new leisure battery. We'll have a look around the van. So it's a 1990 Compass Amiga 4 berth. Not the best looking van. Um, somebody has repainted it at one time, uh, but this, it's still serviceable, plenty of life left in it. And it's a cold water caravan as well. A no hot water system in this van. Caravan step it will be coming with. It'll be coming with wastewater container. And down this side, a fresh water container and whale pump. Um, this whale pump goes back into this hole, but the covers broke off, but, but, the, but the pump stays inside, it's not a problem. Uh, all the brakes work. Handbrake works, rear lights, indicators, brake lights, etc. They all work. Uh, it's not too bad on the body. There are one or two dings in the bodywork, which I'll show you. Um, here's your hookup power point for the 240 hookup lead in there. Uh, there's one or two little dings on it. There's a bit here, a little bit up here. You can see these down there. A little bit here. Yeah. Look a bit down the bottom. Just pointing them out so you know what what's what with this caravan. Um, but fairly reasonable. Fairly level down this side. Try and get an overall picture for you. Good across the back. Um, none of the rear corners have been bumped or anything. Get a shot of the lamp and everything. Down this side. One or two little dings down this side which I'll point out to you. There's a couple down here. Just little bits. Just like one on the door. A couple here. And a little one there. Now this is just to point out, um, just showing you the, the condition of the caravan. It's by no means bashed about, but it's by no means the best caravan. Um, the tyres are good. I'll show you the tyres. And it's on an Alco chassis, German chassis, lightweight. Look around the side of this other tyre. What I'll do next, I'll uh, I'll show you all the extras that are coming with the caravan. There's a microwave, electric cooker, awning, barbecue set, etc, uh, etc. Et but you'll you'll see these shortly on another video. I'll show you this tyre. Oh, that's focusing. Same again. So what I'll do next, I'll show you all the extras that come in with the caravan and then we'll take a look inside. So there you have it outside, pretty straightforward, pretty self-explanatory. So you've seen the outside of the caravan and I'll show you now the bits and pieces that will be coming with the caravan um, and great for in the awning or outside. 
So first of all, um, there's a set of pans and frame pans there. Uh, here we've got an electric uh, um, hot air blowing heater for in the awning. Toaster for inside the caravan, all working. Kettle. Microwave. And then there's this oven, electric oven with a grill and two hobs on the top. Um, a rack for airing, stroke drying your clothes off. Dust pad and brush. Outside chair. Basin for the sink. Um, pull out washing line. A few pegs. Towing mirrors for the car, for the, the extension on the door mirrors, and a basin for the sink. Also this table. This table also sets up inside the caravan, but it's great in the awning. And another chair here. So you have two outside chairs, a table, mirrors, pegs, basin, rack for clothes, a few pots and pans, frame pans, electric uh, heater, toaster, kettle, microwave, Electric oven and rings with a grill. And then also, there's a few pots and pans on here and a, and a little kettle. These are going to come with the barbecue. This barbecue is fairly new. Um, full gas bottle with regulator. It has a burning ring there. Lift the lid. And there's a rack across here, and then of course the, the burner's there, a little side place, gas knobs and controls, um, it's on wheels, little pot, little pot there, and then there's a few utensils, uh, three utensils here that's coming with it, and then also it has uh, a cover there to protect it from the weather. So all in all it's going to become fairly well kitted out. Um, all these things can be stored in the awning. There you have it, these are the extras that are going to come with it. And now we'll take you inside and let you have a look. So as you come into the caravan like I say, it has the stable door. You can have the bottom closed and the top open, if you wish, like that. Light above the door, which we've already seen. As you come into the caravan, um, the back area is a seating area, stroke sleeping area. You have two single seats here, with uh, a table that just slides out of the run at the back, at the base of this table, and this table also makes um, the base for this first bottom bunk. Uh, oh, it's going to come with a little footstool as well there. Uh, the top bunk is this section which slides out and makes the top bunk which I'll set up and show you later. Uh, two cupboards above, plenty of space. Yeah, we've got a, a smoke alarm there. Need, we'll need a new battery. Light above working. Uh, to the side of the rear street, rear Rear seating stroke sleeping area, you've got the toilet compartment. Next door to that, the gas fire and wardrobe. Now, in the toilet, it's a, a porta potty. Window with um, a blackout blind. Rented to the top, also um, the lights working in here. Uh, glass door cabinet, you just pop open, like so. Then you've got um, a little sink here. I'm sure that working. Cold water only, remember. No hot water in the caravan. Drains away. And then this little sink um, flips back up like this. And you fasten it with this little tie back. Part of potty. All in good working order. Fairly new. Just separates in two for easy, easy carrying and, and um, cleaning out. Seat on the toilet, uh, 
Press by this little squeeze here to flush away. Then you have the gas fire, which works. Lights up very, very easy. And it keeps it nice and warm in here. <clears throat> and in there you can see the flame to show that the gas fire is on. I'll just switch that off. There we go, gas fire's off. Above the gas fire, there's a wardrobe. I'll show you near. A rail at the top there for hanging things with a shelf above. Then this area, there's a base there which lifts up. Extra storage underneath for uh, suitcases and things like that, bags. Opposite the fire, there's uh, the sink. Tap works on the sink. Cold water again. Below the sink is a fridge. This fridge works perfectly fine on the gas and on the 240 volt and at the minute I've got it turned on the gas and I'll just show you the uh, the uh, pilot light to show that it's lit in the back of the fridge so you know that's working on the gas you can see the flame there inside so that's working on the gas at the moment works perfectly fine on the 240 volt hookup but never had it working on the 12 volt but you're on site you don't really need uh, to be using your gas and things as your your electricity comes with um, the site of your the, the, the price of your site fees. Then to the front, you just give you a front seating area. Upholstery is in good condition, no rips, tears. Caravan's dry, uh, no saggy floors. I'll set this bed up for you after. Then you can see you've um, a tabletop there with a couple of drawers underneath, three drawers. A pull out drawer at this side and that side. Storage above, plenty of cupboard space above. In here, there's um, a rack for plates and cups, etc., and a few glasses are coming with it. In this cupboard, there's a fire extinguisher, um, fire blanket, and at the back there, there's a bit of a chopping board, cooker. Got the gas rings working, set it all up so you can see. Turn them off, get them rid of in here now. And the grill, the grill's on, the grill works. The only thing that doesn't work here is, is the cooker below. Uh, just can't seem to get that to light. But as you recall, um, there is an electric oven coming with it. Same again, you plugged up on site, you're paying for the electric, you might as well use it. Uh, the light's working in here, i got this light above that's working and above vent, uh, cracking this arm here light at the front's working this spotlight's working but can't seem to get that one to work under this bunk there's the full awning that's coming with the caravan um, full awning a couple of boxes of pegs the poles etc, little mallet there for knocking the pegs in full on in under this side loads of storage again under this side and I'm under here this white board here uh, slides out and it forms the, the centre of the double bed which I'll set up and show you after plenty of storage under there again you would lid here covers the cooker, one here that covers over the sink, like so, ends up looking like that, plug sockets there, they are working, the 240 volt plug sockets, they all work, there's, there's uh, two there, and um, four over here, this little table just slides out, and then you can store it down the side here so it's out of your way. Little control panel, very easy. Up for car battery, down for van battery which is on at the minute. Um, water pump, lights and auxiliary and fuses. And also in this, back in this bathroom, back in this toilet area, the 
big table that I showed you earlier can be stored in here but also there's this table and what this table does you can attach it to the front here it just slides into here and then you've got a table for in front also that big table from the from earlier that that can also fit there or using the awning and um, I'll set up the front bed and the bunk beds and you can see what that's all about Uh, I made a little mistake there, the actual bed base for the front front beds is made up of the little table that was over there and you remember the one that was in this toilet, the bigger table, which is there. So then you so you lie these two between, pull your back cushions down. This makes up your double bed at the front. Um, the double beds at the bunks at the back, you put the laps in between, and that makes the bottom bunk out of the cushions, the seating cushions, and the top bunk, which remember slides back into here and bolts back in. So you've top bunk. bottom bunk so you can sleep four comfortably in here um, you could push the fire with a small child and two adults in the front bed there also these bunks they have a curtain that slides across all the way across this curtain slides all the way across to turn this to turn both areas into private areas well there you have it that's the inside of the van um, Bought this catch on this door here, there's a, there's a broken catch on there and there's a few extra pans in there and things as I recall. So there you have it, a uh, four berth car caravan, um, all complete inside, plenty of life left in it, just a case of put your clothes in, put your bedding in, put your food in, hook up and away you go. So happy bidding, I'm going to start it at 99p, no reserve um, and good luck with the auction and thank you for watching the video. Bye for now.